Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. It's your boy K510, and this is K510 Automotive Group, man. Today, we're here with another video, man. Um, today, I'm going to be finally getting to my rear control arms, and I'm going to be uh, addressing uh, the power steering leak that I have. The reason why I want to replace my rear control arms is because it has a lot of play on the rear axles. I'm just going to give y'all a little glimpse of what that looked like. Let me set up this thing. All right, so when you check in for play, I'm gonna move side to side. You can see, see how that has a lot of wobble to it. So I know my rear control arms is bad. And even if you have like wheel bearing play, it's normally up and down. So my up and down isn't isn't bad, but my side to side is really loose on both sides. So we're gonna be replacing the rear control arms. And these are how they look. Just these little arms right here. Got a ball joint on it, and then a bushing on the rear. So that shouldn't be too bad to do. So, yep. And I know it might look like I keep wearing the same clothes. These are just my work clothes, because I don't want to dirty up my good clothes. So you see me with these this hoodie on, these work pants, and my spider boots, man. You know it's time to put in work, man. So yeah, <laughs> it might look like the whole series I got on the same outfit. Which it is, but I, it's being cleaned and washed and all that stuff, so it ain't no, you know. <laughs> I just thought I just had to throw that out there. But all right, man. We're going to get to work and then show you all the results before and after. And even just give y'all a look at the other bushings when they come out. All right, so guys, we just got the rear control arms out. Both sides. This thing was really hard to do, man, because... um. The ball joint kept spinning. So what I did was use some vice grips to kind of bend the sleeve over here so it can wedge the ball joint and stop it from spinning. You can also grab the tip right here with like a 10 millimeter and hold it. But it broke one of my sockets trying to do that. So this way worked. So now we're going in with the new ones. These are the two old ones. A lot of plays coming from these ball joints. Alright, man. I'm tired, but I gotta get this shit done, man. So I'll be back. Alright, guys. So the next step we're going with, our next project we're doing is getting um the power steering system changed. I have to replace the um the power steering fluid reservoir and hoses because it's a big leak right here so that's what I'm going to do next replace that and the hoses the two lines and also replace my um, oil filter housing bushing so it's like broken off right there so I got all my replacement parts right here. The reservoir's right there. So, all right, let's get started on that. All right, guys, just finished up. Installing a new hose and a new reservoir. You know the old hoses right here. They were like drenched in oil, man. I mean, the reservoir was leaking too. We got the oil filter housing secured. Now it's tight. Everything is good. It's the end of the video, man. So shit, man. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more, man. And thank you for all my supporters out there. Everybody who subscribed. I was, I was over here jamming, so let me turn this thing off real quick. To everybody who supported, who supports the channel, man. I appreciate that, man. Uh, drop a like, uh, you know what I mean? And this, even follow my Instagram if you want to see more. You know, like, just keep in touch with me, DM me, whatever you want to do, man. Uh, so, so
signing out. Peace. And um, yeah, man. Have a good afternoon, morning, night, whatever you want, whatever you want to do, man. Peace.